Sanjay, we know you as Sanjay being Rocky. We know you as Sanjay being the Khalnayak. We know you as Munna Bhai. But who is Sanjay Dab the Neta? Sanjay Dab the Neta is, I think, uh, I think it's more of Sanjay Dab the social worker than a Neta. I think uh, politics is a platform where it helps you to reach out to good people and uh, help in, uh, in a cause, help them. I mean, it's just like how my father was, he was, I don't call him a politician. He was a, one of the greatest politicians, but uh, according to me, he was uh, more of a man who helped his people, helped the country, helped the people of the country, helped his constituency. So, I think I'm just uh, like the idea of social work. Nayata, what was your reaction to uh, Sanjay joining politics? I mean, reaction is that I was uh, quite prepared for it that, uh, because, you know, I always believe that Sanjay can make a very good leader. I mean, again, I will say not a politician because he is not uh, uh, a very manipulating guy, you know, or who would, uh, you know, manipulate things for better or for not too good things. But, you know, he is a person who would come straight from heart. He is a person who is for the people, by the people and from the people kind of uh, scenario, you know. I mean, he would stand up and he will not ride above the emotions of uh, the common people. You know, he can stand by them, with them, shoulder to shoulder and face a problem which comes. So he is more of a leader, he is more of a social worker. So I always believe that he is a person who can serve the nation, who can stand up and believe. And, and since he has got very good masterpiece, so I was like always prepared for it that and I believe that he should do it. But um, before this decision came out, first we heard it from uh, Mr. Amar Singh. So there was an initial silence from you. Why is that? Well, Maruk, I'm not a politician. I mean, I'm not inclined to politics. I'm an actor and I'm happy uh, doing what I am doing and what I have been doing. Uh, but I mean, uh, you know, so I never give it a kind of a serious thought. But yes, definitely after uh, what happened in Mumbai, uh, after the attacks, I mean, when I watched the TV and I watched you for 62 hours and I saw what, what the situation was. I, I really felt that, I mean, uh, I felt, I think that that was the turning point in my decision where I felt that I should, I mean, get into this, uh, into this field and be a politician. I mean, I know that I alone cannot change the system. You know, my father tried it, but it, it, he, didn't, he succeeded in 10 percent, you know, but, but I mean, um, that's, the, that's the way I look at it. I mean, I have stepped in, so maybe at least looking at me, there may be 10,000 like-minded people like me who will step in and make a difference in the country. But when you were there in Lucknow, Manata of course was there, there were seven leaders from the Samajwadi party. Did you miss, did you miss your sisters not being there with you in, in what was a very important moment for you? Yeah, I definitely miss my sisters not being there, I miss my family. Most of all, I miss my dad. But I mean, uh, I think uh, that's the reality of life and you've got to look at it and you've got to move on. And uh, that's what I think we all have done, including my sisters. We've moved on. But um, are you upset when you were in Kashmir and this, uh, this announcement came of your having uh, been given a ticket uh, on the Samajwadi Party platform? Three uh, other came out to the press conference. She said she was disappointed you hadn't chosen the Congress instead of the Samajwadi Party. Were you disappointed by her coming out with that particular statement that she did? I was not disappointed with her coming out with any statement. You know, I mean, as I have said before, I am thinking again, she's younger than me and uh, I do forgive her for whatever she's done. And uh, this is a family which is uh, unbreakable. I mean, every family has differences uh, and it can be sorted out behind closed doors, you know, but... Uh, so, I mean, I mean, it's, it's nothing that important. I mean, as I said, I've forgiven her and we all are a happy family again, you know, so... Uh, uh, but uh, are you talking about me getting a shot? About uh, my name being announced? No, about the fact that she came out to the press conference while you were there. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it hurts a little bit. But uh, she denied it. You know, but as I said, she denied it. But even if she had said it, I forgive. But uh, are you upset by these reports that keep coming out that uh, Manita is responsible for the differences between you and Priya and you and Nama. I think any husband who respects his wife will be very, very upset. And uh, I do respect her a lot and I 
I am very upset and I was very upset. But I want to make myself clear about one thing is that there is nobody in this world who can influence my decision. I mean, uh, nobody. I mean, uh, I mean, she can suggest me, but she cannot influence me. So, I mean, so I, I just want to just tell the people, just leave her alone, you know, and uh, any grievances, I am there, you can come and talk to me and I can sort it out. Manasa, how tough has it been really for you to be Mrs. Bhatt? I think if I look back for like three years back, I mean, I think I have just fought a battle every day of my life just to be today what I am and today also even like everybody is accepting me as well as that I'm still fighting a battle for that name. I mean, but, you know, I'm grateful to my husband who stood by me like a rock steady friend pillar and like he's just there and all that matters to me is his uh, acknowledgement to me, his recognition to me. Yeah. But won't you wish things were different between you and Priya and, and the sister? I would love and I have tried my best uh, from my side to put things together. But you know, to an extent I can bend. I have, uh, I mean, I am an uh, you know, individual, I am a woman, I am a human. And I, you know, it does hurt me to hear things like this. But you know, I choose to keep quiet because that's not the way I'm being uh, brought up to run people down in public. And then secondly, I do respect my husband's emotions towards his family, his love towards his family. Have you tried and the, the effort hasn't been reciprocated? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, most of the time.